Here are the IP68 connectors currently available. We offer left and right power connectors in either straight or 90 degree styles. We also have a terminator or end connector for properly waterproofing the back end of the product. The, each of the connectors comes with a silicone gasket, an anti-skid clip, and an aluminum block along with four screws for attaching the aluminum block. A straight cut is necessary for proper waterproofing of the product. There are cut marks every so many inches on the product on which you can cut. Hold the product as flat as possible and lower the blade down to the cut marks. Once there, quickly cut through the product to ensure a nice straight even cut through the circuit board. The silicone gasket needs to be placed over the fins of the power connector. Separate the slit slightly and push the fins through, making sure that the short end of the silicone gasket is on the short end of the plug and the larger part is towards the top. Then the fins are slipped into the product behind the circuit board for connection to the power connectors on the circuit board. This has the silicone gasket in between the product and the connector. Next, the anti-skid clip will be put on. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to pull off the power connector so you can see the small tabs that need to be positioned correctly for a good waterproof connection. These tiny tabs at the bottom of the, the anti-skid clip need to be touching or even slightly back from the end of the product to ensure good positioning of the block and clip. We tighten, we squeeze this clip slightly just to make it easier to slide on the aluminum block. You can start the block on an angle where you squeeze the anti-skid clip and then push it on with the holes for the screws pointing towards the end. This would all be done with the connector already in place. So I'm going to take it off and put the connector on so we can actually do it now. So now we have the silicone gasket on there, we have the anti-skid clip and we're going to slide on the aluminum <laughs> block the aluminum block will now go all the way to the end until it touches the other two tabs on the anti-skid clip. Next, we will put the four screws in place and tighten them. We tighten them alternately, diagonally, and then continue tightening alternately from corner to corner, pulling the gasket tighter and tighter to the material until the plastic of the connector touches the aluminum block. Do not over tighten and strip or break the screws. Once, once the plastic is touching the aluminum block, it has crushed the silicone gasket against the material, creating a waterproof seal.